silly, right? Well, it sounds just as silly to me when people compare marijuana to heroin. Yeah! Because not what? Not what? When me and my friends were sitting around smoking that bowl, not what? Did any one of them ever stand up and say, You know what we need, man? We need some fucking heroin. No, not my friends. My friend, he'd stand up and he'd say, you know what we need, man? We need a fucking pizza. Now, I notice also as I go through the hood, I can find a few things. I can find cocaine. Yeah. I can find heroin. Yeah. But I can't find any heroin. I went in there twice. What? I'll give you a minute to think uh, about this. Scary. <laughs> Could you imagine what it'd be like to be on that airplane from the hood, though? Fuck yeah! And you hear these words? I don't know. My name's Pedro, and I'm gonna be your pilot today. We're gonna fly all right around 500 feet because I'm following the interstate. I get lost very easily. Yeah! Now, understand that being in the hood isn't just about Pedro. Because you could just as easily hear, hey baby, this is Tyrone and I'm flying this motherfucker in the hood. Or you could hear, hey, I'm Billy Bob and I got this fucking shit. Because being in the hood, it isn't about black, white, or brown. It's about green. Green! And the minute you're not paying attention, to the green, somebody else is. You know, maybe instead of looking on MLK for those airplanes, maybe I should be looking on Wall Street instead. See, I've lived long enough to watch a cycle repeat itself. What I mean by that is, is in the 80s, you'd have a newscaster come on, and he'd say, crack cocaine. It's really cheap, and it gets you really fucking high. Now, if you were doing an infomercial for a junkie, what else would you need to fucking say? Right? Oh, seriously. Well, it was also proven at that time that uh, our own CIA was bringing in that cocaine, and they were using it to fund the Iran Contra. That's a fact. What up? So if you question why your streets are flooded with heroin, I advise you to look into your past. Because our kids are going to run it right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to wrap this up the same way that I wrap up every show that I do. And it's a simple message. It was given to by Bill Hicks. And he said this. The world is just a ride with music. We choose to go on this ride. It's very brightly colored. It's full of thrills and chills. And some people have been on this ride for a very long time and they begin to question, is this real or is this just a ride? And others have come back to us and they say, hey, don't worry, don't be afraid. It's just a ride. And we kill those people. Kill them. Shut them up, shut them up. We've got a lot invested in this ride. Look at my furrows of worry and my big bank account. It just has to be real. Okay. But it's just a ride. We kill all those good guys that tell us that. We let demons run them up. But don't worry. Don't be afraid. It's just a ride. But we can change this ride any time that we want to. It's a simple choice. A choice of fear and a choice of love. The guys of fear will tell you, buy bigger locks for your house and get more guns. When the eyes of love will tell you that we're all one. Here's what we can do to change this fight. We take that money that we spend in weapons and defense every year, and we spend it feeding, clothing, and educating the poor of the world, which you would do many times over. And then we can truly explore space, both in and out, and peace.